Good day, everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about the tongue shape. The tongue shape mainly refers to the tough tongue, the tender tongue, in large or firm tongue. In the later slides, we're going to introduce one by one what does this, uh, what, what do these tones mean. Apart from these two categories, the patient also may present with teeth mark on the tongue, songs on the tongue, fissures or hemorrhagic spots on the tongue. Firstly, we are going to talk about the tough and tender tongue. The tough tongue, a tough tongue appears hard, rough and coarse. So the, the image so you um sample of of the tough of the tough tongue as you can see from the tongue it is dry and it looks like hard and rough on top coarse so it is not smooth the indications of a tough tongue often indicate excess sodium due to pathogenic qi so mostly a tough tongue appears in an excess syndrome. The excess syndrome can be either cold or heat. A tender tongue. A tender tongue is a tongue appears fine and tender. This definition is not accurate because normally we don't use the the words from the from the tones to describe the we don't use the terms to describe the terms itself. So, but it's a, it is a bit difficult to describe this kind of feeling. But how you can what you going to see is from here this time. You can see see from the appearance it looks like very soft. So that's why it says a tender tongue refers to this kind of tongue. This one also a tender tongue, but not that typical. This one is more typical, the one in the bottom. A tender tongue appears fine and tender or soft, similar to this. A tender tongue mostly happens in deficiency syndrome. So that's the indications of the tough tongue and tender tongue. One is excess syndrome, the other one is deficiency. And then you will com combine with the tongue color as well, the pale color or the red color. It can help you to identify the heat or the coldness of the pathogen. The enlarged tongue and firm tongue. The, let's see the definition first. The enlarged tongue. An enlarged tongue is a bigger and thicker than a normal tongue. So it's slightly bigger. Swollen tongue, so the, there are two tones in the swollen the in the tongue become bigger. One is an enlarged tongue, one is slow a swollen tongue. A swollen tongue appears bright red and or bluish in severe cases. Swollen tongue can cause pain and cannot be rejected. So, as you can see from the definition, these two different terms are quite similar. They refer to the enlargement of the tongue. That's why we have different two different terms towards the enlargement. We only want to identify how severe the enlargement is. So the swollen tongue, an uh, enlarged tongue, is the tongue is bigger, similar to this one, or this one. So these two are all enlarged tongue. We don't have a picture of swollen tongue. Swollen tongue, most in a worse condition, the patient can, you can see the tongue is swollen, but the patient cannot recheck with tongue. So it's, you can see in some, especially for some severe inflammation. A thin tongue is smaller and thinner than a normal tongue. So when you see the enlarged tongue and the thin tongue, 
you can think about in a physical body, in the inspection of the physical body that we have learned previously, the enlargement is the beast, our weight. The thumb is the thumb physical belt. So this is a thumb tongue, smaller or thinner than a normal tongue. Then if you compare with the indications from the physical body in indications for overweight or obesity and uh, skinny, then you will understand what's the indications of the tongue enlargement or the a thumb tongue. The enlarged tongue or swollen tongue often indicates internal retention of water or dampness. So when you see an enlarged tongue, a tongue is bigger, you need to think about the water retention. The reason why, you can think the a piece of a wood. It's, if you put a piece of a wood in the water, after a long time, the wood is going to expand, right? After the wood is going to expand, that is similar to the tongue going to expand. So this tongue becomes bigger. The reason why the tongue becomes bigger is because of the water retention. That's why. When you, whenever you see an enlarged tongue, you can think about the water retention. Then for the water retention, you need to identify what's the causes of the abnormal of body fluids. Some tongue often indicates deficiency of qi and blood, hyperactive fire due to indeficiency. As you can see from here, the some tongue indicates the deficiency, indeficiency, the indeficiency. It can be with fire, with hyperactive fire or not. The indeficiency means that the body does not have enough body fluid or blood. That's why the, the shape of the tongue becomes skinny, becomes smaller than normal. Okay, so that's the indications of the thin or enlarged tongue. A white, pale, or a red, pale, swollen tongue indicate damp heat. If qi deficiency or yang deficiency for the white, pale, swollen tongue, that's yang deficiency will result in the coldness. So again, it comes to the white color and the red color. The white color is cold, the red color is heat. Damp heat, also a kind of heat. So that's how to use the previous information, the previous knowledge that we have introduced to, com to combine in these inspections. A deep red swollen tongue, again, a deep red tongue indicates excess heat and now it as the swollen a deep red swollen tongue indicates the excess heat with water with abnormal water metabolism so the spleen as well that's why it indicates the excess heat in the heart or spleen it also can be the toxic heat the toxic heat accumulate accumulation affect the tongue also can Present, present as a deep red tongue, deep red swollen tongue. A thin tongue is a sign of malnourishment, so that's similar to a thin body build, uh, a thin physical body build. As you can see now, here we always use the color together, a pale white and thin or deep red and swollen. So we will use the color combined with the color with the, the shape. 
the tongue with its teeth mark. This refers to a tongue with teeth marks on both sides. Teeth marks are often seen in, in large tongue, but it also can happen in normal size. As you can see, these two are in large tongue with teeth mark. This one, the first one is the teeth marks in a normal size tongue. So firstly, what's the teeth mark? That's something that you can see like this. In the second picture, the one on the, on the edge of the tongue, you can see this shape, this teeth mark, this very typical teeth mark. The third picture, you also can see, but not as severe, as obvious as the second picture. Yeah. The one, two, this one. So that's the teeth mark. The first picture, you also can see from the side. So here. On this side, you don't see that clear, but there's one here. So this is shape on the edge of the, the tongue because teeth mark. What's the reason of this teeth mark? That's what's the indication of the teeth mark. So before we talk about the teeth marks, I, I want you to in, just to imagine in your, in your mind that there's a piece of a wood, the wood. You put the wood in the water, so you put in the water, you put the wood in the water, but this water is in a container, so in a very limited space. So for instance, this, this one container, like this shape. Okay. So this container, like this shape, you put the water there, and then you put a piece of wood there. You put a piece of wood in the container. Now there's a water in this container as well. This wood of water. After a long time, the wood is going to expand. That's correct, right? So that's what we think about the enlargement. So the, the wood will be, become bigger, but in this situation, the wood is going to expand according to the shape of the container. So this, if you can imagine this image in your brain, it will be easy for, easier for you to, to understand the teeth marks. This is a very similar tongue in our mouth is supposed to be like this shape the water retention is it is very similar the tongue sinks in the water and the what the tongue going to expand which become the enlarged enlarged tongue but the, when the tongue is bent because we have our teeth in the mouth so the tongue going to expand according to the shape of the teeth that's why when they put the tongue out, you will see the teeth marks. There's one T here, there's another T, another, one tooth, another tooth, another. So that's the teeth mark. What's the cause of the teeth marks? Then when we go back to the indications, if you understand this phenomenon in the environment, you will understand what's the cause. Indicates spleen deficiency or dampness. What's the result of spleen deficiency? Spleen deficiency will cause dampness. So these two are actually together. You can't separate them. Dampness, in a patient with dampness, it can indicate that the patient has abnormal water metabolism normal water metabolism will have spleen deficiency although we, we use two different tones to describe that's only because we want to emphasize the dominance spleen deficiency or the dampness but they do happen together so a pale white tongue indicates the water retention due to yang deficiency 
Tender Town, which is a mark. Tender Town, that's the, in the previous slides, the, the picture in the, in the middle. A tender town with teeth marks indicates spleen deficiency or qi deficiency. The next one, the town with the spots or thorns. A town with the spots or thorns refers to swelling or protrusions of the fungiform papillae. The spots, the spots are caused by congestion or of the Fungiform papillae due to their increase in volume and numbers. This statement only gives you a general idea what's the spot or where the spot comes from. But this statement doesn't help our diagnostics. This is an image showing you the spots and thorns. As you can see, the, the spots protruding from out from the tongue, these spots. So this is the, where does the spots come from? Does this statement doesn't help you? The statement we need, we need to think about why the spots coming out from our theory. How do you know why the, the spots coming out? You need to think, you need to combine with the color. Okay, uh, just before we go to details, for well, this time, you can see here, this time is the, on the tip of the tongue is red. So when we use the, the location of the tongue, we say the tongue tip, and we think about the, the redness. In the previous slides, we didn't show you the, the image of, of a red tip tongue. So this tongue is a red tip with spots, with thorns. Why something is protruding? It's because of the heat. It's the enlarged or high protrusions. Why you can see normally why we don't see these spots? That's because they are smaller. Why you can see because they are enlarged. And then what's the reason for the enlargement? Especially with red color. That's the heat. So indications. Indicates excess yang heat, excess heat in the blood. So no matter where they are, it's excess heat. Excess yang heat, that's the heat. So this is another picture of the, the thorns. You can see the spots, these spots on top of the tongue. And this tongue, you also can see the, the red color in the tips and on the side. So this patient, the thorns is different from the previous one. The previous one is more the heart fire on the tip. This patient is more liver fire on the side. But sometimes you may say they still have sound on, on the tip. That's true. So in this situation, we think that's the liver fire and the heart fire because you can't separate them clearly. So in this treatment, we will focus on the liver, the liver and the heart, that's from the location. Just in general, the thorns is the excess heat. Refer in the, implies an excess heat, in, especially in heat syndrome. The tongue with fissures or cracked tongue. So this is an image of the cracked tongue or tongue with pieces. Patient or a healthy person also can present with this kind of tongue because some of the cracks are genetic, they born like this. So for if genetic, it doesn't consider as pathological condition. And then now we talk about the pathological condition. But how do you know that the cracks is new or genetic? 
the features, the features, it's new opportunity. You're going to see the the gap of the tongue, such as here. So the from here, you're going to see here the gap there. Underneath the gap, you're going to see there. If you see the coating, even slight, very thin coating, doesn't matter. You see the coating there most of the time. It is genetic. If if you see a patient presented with a, with the tongue with a coating here around the tongue have coating, but in the fissures at a gap in the gaps there's no coating. You see very bright in the gap. This is, can indicate the pathological condition because this can indicate the 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 fissures are new. You also can ask the patient to confirm with them do they have the the fissures or the fissures all the time. So when we talk about the the fissures, we can think about the where does the cracks come from. You can think about something like this. That's a soil in the ground, very dry ground. After a long time, they're going to be cracked. So this image is very similar to this. Which means if you see a cracked tongue, it's the indeficiency. Because in this image, there's no water in the ground. So for this tongue, there's also no water in the inner tongue. The water in the tongue is the body fluid. So mostly when you see this kind of tongue, it's the, the water, the deficiency of the, the body fluid. It also can be the heat. The heat also will result in the water retention, the, the water deficiency, the, the body fluid deficiency. If the excess heat doesn't affect the water or the body still have enough body fluid, you won't see the cracked thumb. This thumb, especially for pathological conditions, mostly happens in the wound diseases or fibrosis. Uh, Fibrile diseases, which is due to the heat, and the heat will consume the body fluid. The tongue with hemorrhagic spots this refers to tongue bleeding. No matter where the bleeding is, the tongue bleeding indicates either excess heat or deficiency. The reason why it can be both is because you need to think about the color of the tongue. If the bleeding in a pale tongue, that's deficiency. If the bleeding in a red tongue is excess heat. The reason is the bleeding for excess heat, the heat have the have the characteristics of causing bleeding, right? In the basic theory. So that's in a red tongue. With excess, with excess heat, with the qi deficiency or deficiency heat, deficiency heat also in deficiency and result with with heat, deficiency qi qi deficiency. That means the qi the lose the function of confining, the confining function of the qi to confine the blood in the vessels. So qi. The qi loses, loses the function of confining. That's why the blood comes out from the vessels cause bleeding. So when you see the tongue bleeding, hemorrhagic spots, you're going to think about the, the, either from the heat or deficiency. The tongue with sores or ulcers. This is quite obvious the patient will tell you because they feel painful you also can see from the image you also can see from your practice that when you see the tongue you can see the ulcers the ulcer can be either bulge or succumb like this one is succumbed 
the answers also can be access heat or deficiency. It also will depend on the, the color of the town as well as the location of the town. So if on the tip of the town is the hot fire, if on the side of the town is the lower fire, if present in a pale town with ulcer, that's the qi deficiency. Okay, so that's how to combine the previous knowledge in the diagnostics. We understand this section of the tongue shape, especially for those of the normal tongue shape. You can find some similar phenomena from the nature and you, know, you can think about what's the cause from the nature of those phenomena that you can apply in our body, physical body. That's how to help you to understand or remember easier. Such as the enlarged tongue. It's the water retention. That's something you can see. If water retention in a wood, in a piece of wood, then it will, the wood will be bent. That's the enlargement. Or the normal wood, after drying for a while, the wood becomes smaller. That's the thumb tongue or the, the tongue with features that's the dry the the or the fluid deficiency. So these are the tongue shape, the introduction of the tongue shape. In the next video, we're going to talk about the more mobilities of the tongue as well as if we will see the tongue, we might go through the coating as well. Thank you for your attention.